Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil uh, Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session, the uh, 2nd November 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at Google Play and the Apple App Store, also at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, so in terms of US markets, let's uh, give you a rundown as to what to expect, especially given the fact that today, Mr. Uh, so it looks like Mr. Powell will be elected. Uh, also, we have uh, obviously results or uh, an insight into uh, tax reform as well. Uh, details coming through with regards to that. Now, uh, let's see how the market certainly uh, embraces that. It'll be interesting to see. In terms of the UK, we also have um, BOE today as well. So, again, it'll be interesting to see how that impacts the uh, GBP USD trade. Nevertheless, uh, let's see exactly where we are in terms of the, the market for US. Bear with me. Let's quickly run run through that for you. Uh, in terms of the uh, dollar, that's the first thing that I'm going to discuss again because it's tax reform. Uh, that's what we've been certainly taking into account here. Okay, uh, and also given the fact that we have Mr. Power and see how the dollar reacts. Now, at the moment, the dollar is into um, is into a weak resistance zone. Okay, it certainly has the ability to push high up to uh, 130.5. Okay, it certainly is in an uptrend at the moment, so uh, bias certainly remains higher. Or bullish here okay so let's see how this continues uh, with regards to the uh, the actual uh, move here bear with me okay so again certainly remains bullish from that perspective there's an inverted head and shoulders formation in the daily chart uh, as well so certainly a continuation one could argue now again the dollar will be subject and again just bear this in mind as well the dollar move is certainly is in relation to the equity market move as well so uh, a rally in the dollar generally means a rally in the equity markets because of the uh, concept of fiscal stimulus, etc. Uh, obviously, it's a dollar positive. So uh, again, that certainly is something to consider. Also, with regards to the hawkish nature of the markets, the markets don't care that about that anymore. Why? Because it's negated by fiscal stimulus. So even if we get a hawkish monetary policy, it's negated to a large extent and cushioned by Mr. Trump's tax reform hopes, okay, uh, which is obviously fiscal stimulus. And therefore, it negates any bearish effects of the uh, the uh, hawkish monetary policy, or up to the extent where we no longer get for obviously or number one either tax reform is, is factored in, or number two, or should we say baked into the cake? Okay, or, or number two, obviously there are details of the tax reform certainly turning sour or going south uh, in terms of not being implemented and not enough votes, etc. And then again, that can obviously have a negative effect. Okay, so again, all eyes on the dollar index. It's, uh, it has an inverted head and shoulders formation. So, uh, again, if Mr. Trump's pick obviously is dollar positive, it'll be embraced. Yesterday, the economic data from the U.S. certainly was strong. Of everything from from yesterday's data was certainly dollar positive. Uh, in terms of the Fed FOMC statement as well, it was more or less dollar positive in the sense that she talked of growth. Okay. And uh, there's a potential uh, hike in December expected as well. So those two factors certainly need to be taken into consideration as well. Okay, so again, everything is about the dollar. If the dollar starts to slide, equities slide. Dollar rallies, equities will rally as well. Okay, so that's the status quo there. In terms of uh, the technical picture, let's look into these Dow Jones first because it's a Dow, that's the important index. The daily chart of the Dow has a, a doji chart, okay? That doesn't mean that the markets are out of steam, okay? Uh, certainly to the contrary. It just means that it's pausing for now. How many times have we seen a doji for the market only to reverse and, and obviously rip higher again? So again, daily chart at the moment, although having said that, the volume has been slightly declining. So again, some certain, certainly some cause for concern. Looking at the 60-minute chart as well, certainly a uh, concept. We have made a higher high earlier on, 23.510. It was rejected very quickly before we close the gap on the downside. So let's see how it unfolds. Okay, again, let's see how Mr. Powell's pick is. Uh, obviously, if he does go for power, if he doesn't, okay. If he goes for the other chap, uh, which again is uh, certainly uh, considered to be even more hawkish, okay. Mr. Powell's less do is, is less hawkish. He's actually in the dovish camp, okay. If he goes for the other chap again, or even if he goes for Yellen, let's see how the market unfolds, okay. Nevertheless, as traders, we just basically we react, and that's exactly what we were doing. So for now, you can see gap fill at twenty three three seven five. Uh, the higher high isn't exactly convincing, so let's see. Uh, let's wait for further evidence there. In terms of the Dow Transportation Index, uh, going to the daily chart, the Dow Transport certainly have been subdued to a large extent. Uh, let's just uh, give you an insight here. Okay, so we are into previous resistance equal support, so one would argue here bullish nature for the Dow going forward. Let's see how the Dow, obviously, Dow Transports react. 60 minute chart is obviously into support as well, double bottom. 
So the Dow is in a, in a precarious position. Let's see how that unfolds. Okay, in terms of the Nasdaq, let's go to the Nasdaq daily chart, weekly chart, all uh, extremely bullish. Although the daily chart yesterday did put in a, a bearish engulfing candle, so certainly some cause for concern. But from a daily chart itself, it certainly isn't. Okay, uh, higher highs are not as, as prolific. Okay, we do need to take out that high at 6270 for the market to so continue and move higher. Okay, uh, 60 minute chart again, certainly starting to look circumspect. 10 minute chart. That one would argue there is a case here for a potential HS formation reversal. Okay, so again, let's see how the market unfolds. Resistance is seen at 6260, and then obviously 6275. They, they are your two key resistance zones for now uh, in terms of the NASDAQ. Okay, now let's just cross reference the NASDAQ with the semicons and the biotech semiconductors on the uh, daily chart. Let's just quickly look at that again, bearish engulfing candle. So uh, the uh, rally higher certainly was sold into is not exactly a healthy sign. Let's see if we can retest that resistance and break higher. In terms of the Nasdaq Biotech, let's just bring up the Biotech as well. Okay, so Biotech still remain weak on the daily chart, certainly under pressure. Although the 60 minute chart is giving you a potential bottom here, so again, that certainly is bullish for the Nasdaq. Bear that in mind. If the Biotech starts to rally here, which really is expected. Then you are looking for the Nasdaq to certainly push higher as well. So, all eyes on Nasdaq uh, now at the moment. We're currently trading below back into gap fill support, which is around the 6229 support. Well, sorry, but yeah, gap fill at around 6229. We fell from 6275, so 50 point sell off on the Nasdaq. We close this gap here at 6249, then obviously close the gap below as well. Certainly, extreme weakness yesterday. Again, for now, we would receive resistance at 6260, so watch out for resistance there at 6260. And then we'll see how the market unfolds thereafter. Okay. Uh, in terms of the SP 500 now, let's just quickly look at that and review that for you as well. The daily chart certainly putting a doji, uh, certainly uh, no real convincing higher highs. Uh, the volume was okay. Okay. Volume was good even on the sell side, so bear that in mind. 60 minute chart now has put in a higher high and high low, so innocent until proven guilty, so bear that in mind. Okay. Let's see how the market continues to unfold there. We certainly closed the gap yesterday, uh, so the push higher, the gap higher was certainly rejected. So again, for now, resistance is seen on the S&P at 2581 and then 2588. Okay, so they are your two key resistance zones. There is a horizontal resistance in this area here, uh, 2583, which is an important zone as well. Uh, watch out for that. Again, like I said, another argument can be made for an H&S formation re reversal. So one could certainly argue you're looking at a H&S top, okay? Uh, now again, I would like to see evidence around 2580, 2583 holding, and then I'll be more than happy to put in a stop just above 2588 and look to play on the short side. And you do have one, two unfilled gaps. You have an unfilled gap at 2560 and an unfilled gap at 2557. So again, any hiccup with regards to the new Fed chair, any hiccup with regards to tax reform, uh, again, certainly will trigger a sell-off and look for those gaps to be closed below. Okay, so that's the status quo at present in terms of the S&P. Let's cross-reference that with the uh, Russell 2000, okay? Uh, Russell 2000, a daily chart, certainly rejecting these highs here. Uh, certainly a solid base being built there, okay? As you can see, a wall of resistance. Uh, one would argue that you are now looking to potentially break lower. Uh, you're certainly oscillating between support and resistance, so let's see how it unfolds. Again, we do have an unfilled gap below, so watch out below. Uh, certainly an argument there from a technical perspective to move lower. So US market certainly uh, delicately poised. Uh, now again, we're waiting tax reform details today. It has been delayed from yesterday, which is, an, a, neg which is a negative sign. I actually attempted to short the S&P yesterday. I was stopped out, unfortunately, on my NASDAQ and S&P only for the markets to reverse. So interesting uh, scenario there. Okay, so keep an eye out for that with regards to the uh, potential next move. Uh, see how the market unfolds there uh, with regards to them. Okay. So that's the status quo uh, with regards to uh, US markets or US equities. Let's see how the uh, the market unfolds there uh, and let's see how we uh, we certainly uh, react. Uh, again, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the market can move either way. OK, so uh, that's my summation. Uh, really, it's about how what the uh, how the market reacts to tax reform, how the market reacts to Mr. Powell being elected, uh, which obviously is a, is, is a favorite at present. Uh, we do have um, US non-farm productivity initials jobless claims as well um, and uh, ism uh, data uh, mr dudley is speaking as well so all those factors certainly could sway the market as well on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus 
and make sure you visit TradeSingler and download the latest app. Goodbye now.